This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com series on upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7. In this segment, we're going to look at the pros and cons of the available options. There are pros and cons to all of them. The key thing to remember is that whatever option you pick, you will still have to reinstall all of your programs and your data. So we look at the options, dual boot. One of the pros is that you leave your XP installation intact, which means you can boot to it, and you can boot to XP or Windows 7. The cons, you still have to install the programs and data in your Windows 7 partition, and you need more disk space available because you're creating another boot partition. With Microsoft's Easy Transfer, the pros are that it migrates some of your settings to Windows 7 like settings from Internet Explorer and Outlook, and some of your desktop settings. The cons that you still have to install all of your programs and data. And what I call the Start Fresh method, which is where you just do everything from scratch, is that your everything is new, completely new, your hard drive is formatted and fresh, all your old settings and everything are gone and wiped away, and you can start completely new. And the cons are that you have to recreate a few settings for Internet Explorer, Outlook, and your desktop. So these are the pros and cons to the various methods and the various options. Once again, the key thing to remember is that no matter what option you choose, if you're upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7, you will have to reinstall your programs and your data. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all of the parts.